Review time! Review 4! Package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the channel, Wicked Family. Welcome back to Wicked Gamer and Collector. And for the people who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell. Because we have a lot of great stuff to review and to talk about here on the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about... The 801, or better said, the Super 801. The multi-card collector. Here in the Netherlands, we have... A a person, a girl, who collects a lot of stuff, and Jesse is more like the person who only focuses on multi cards. So they send this to me just to check it and to show it here on the channel. So let us shout out to you and leave a link in the description. Nevertheless, all right, so what are we going to get with this Super 8 on it? One. So I don't know what you think of this, but I really love the transparent or clear red shell. So, but there is something special about this cartridge that makes this Super 801. Oh yeah, the Chinese have been naughty, because this is basically a cheap China EverDrive, or a clone version. So I'm very curious what kind of version they are sending us, and how fast does it load up the games. So, as you can see here, it comes in this very nice label, and for the people who just like to collect these cartridges, I think this can be a very cool item. So the label itself, yes, it looks good, but they basically messed it up. And now you're asking why? If you look very closely, you can see they used the Street Fighter 4 and 5 decals. Why would you do that? Have nothing to do with Super NES or the 16-bit era. Alright, so for this video I'm going to use the Super Retron HD. Let's go. Alright, so when powering up this, what we're going to get, it's a very basic menu, no really fancy menu, what we can see with the multi-game card, because it's not a multi-game card, it's just basic and effort drive, and the same for the Mega Drive, you're going to get this basic menu. In the toolbox, we have some little things like update OS, uh, we can see it about, some information about the Super Effort Drive. We're having ROM settings over here, options, a lot of options. And here we can select the game that you want to load in and pressing start, you basically load up the game that you started the last time. All right, so let's see. All right, so for the first time, let's grab a very big game, a 4MB game. Yeah, that was big back at the time. So it's erasing the flash drive or the fresh chip. And let's see how long does erasing take. I'm afraid this is going to be similar like the Mega Drive from China or the Mega Ever Drive. Simple because these chip flash cards are very slow. And as I'm talking, okay, well, I don't want to say still racing, but as you can see, it took quite some time to even erase the file. This is a 4 MB again, so loading will go a little bit faster when you're choosing a smaller game. But this is something you really need to consider for yourself. Can you live with this? Uh, do we have the patience to wait every single time? And again, this is not a multi-game card because there is nothing to do with a multi-game card. But all the multi-game cards you buy are instant load because they are programmed on the chip. So you don't need to reflash it every time you need to boot it up. So, But nevertheless, it takes forever. You have the idea. So I have set up the EverDrive, every time pressing the reset button, it doesn't reset the game, it resets the EverDrive. So basically we're going back to the main menu. I think it's very convenient. All right, so let's load up another game and let's play some. All right, this is a very great example. I'm just chosen the Zero to load up in the cart and you can see it's almost instant boot because this was only a 512 kilobyte file. Yes, people, very small. And it works like a charm. Let's choose my favorite stage, the Big Blue. Oh, need to get used to the game. Need to get used to the game. Mm -mm. Alright, so if it comes to the region lock, uh, this is something you need to consider. It's still highly possible when you load up a game that is meant for another region and your system is not region lock free, you still can get a message and you can still can play the games. But I know these cars are pretty cheap. 
to buy, even if you don't buy this eight hundred and one, the Everdrive, Super Everdrive is not very expensive. So if you can live with the low, very long low times sometimes, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Bashing! All right, so I'm going to load up a file for Starwing or Starfox. And this is something you need to consider because it's in cheap Everdrive. It does load up all the games, but it doesn't mean it's going to play. Because here I'm going to show you when you boot up this FX game, and there is no FX chip on this device, that is only the SD to SNES and this, if I'm saying it, the, there was another, let's say, a very expensive Everdrive you can buy from China. Those cards support some of the FX chips, or most of the time, all of them. And with this card, this is what you're going to get. No image. And my camera is out of focus. And of course, if you have this portable device, you can use this thing to bring all your favorite games with you. You don't need to grab all your original games. And just very easy, plug and play and play the games. And it works like a charm, so it doesn't even matter if you have a clone system or you have a portable device like the RetroBit or RetroBit to work with all of these systems. Awesome. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, what do I think of this Super 8 and 1? So first of all, it's not a multi-game card. They say it's a multi-game card, but it's just naughty people. It's not a multi-game card. It's just basically an average drive. You can see it's a pretty big PCB board. And some of them comes with an SD card. So what kind of games? Don't know. Depends all where you buy it. Or most of the time you don't have any games. You just need to add them yourself. But this is what you're going to get. Um, yeah, it's cheap. Uh, loading times can be very long. I've shown you with the 4 MB file and it takes forever sometimes to wipe the files. But I think it's a very easy and cheap solution if you just want to play your games. It works on a portable device, it works on a clone system and it works of course on your original Super NES. So let me know what you think of this or maybe you're already owning one of these. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell and become one of the Wicked family. It would be great to see you in the next video.